Hi there, my name is Mark Forte, Senior Solutions Specialist with Toonboom with an expertise in compositing. In this video series, we'll look into compositing a scene from start to finish, as well as making sure the character sits properly in the background and that the environment is lit properly. This particular video, let's take a look at our scene. So we're going to go right into that background, and you can see it's called Night Scene BG. And we're going to click the rightmost arrow to go inside the group. What we see here are all the background layers. And visually, it's not very pleasing. But if we render, we can see that the blend mode here is actually allowing all of our layers to blend down to the background a certain way. If I were to remove this, it would render just as is. So when you work in a uh, file like Photoshop, you might have blend modes such as add, overlay, hard light, and so on. And you want to recreate that environment in here, otherwise you get a different result. By grouping all of these layers together, we have already the blending mode, which is a module in the node library. And if we look at the properties, this is set to overlay. If I chose a different blend mode, such as screen, we would get a very different result. So overlay makes this scene look very rich. And if we look at our background, we can see there's a bit of a problem over here. And if we look here, we can see the night scene BG box is actually wired into the wrong composite. So the first step is to troubleshoot this and we'll just wire this right in front instead so that it's no longer using the blend mode, but plugged into the main composite above all these other light sources. The other thing I'm noticing is I've got a second beam here that I don't want to use. So I'll go back to my OpenGL view. And if you want to look at this background in a more eye-pleasing way, what we can do, and I'll do this on the top, is we can add a render preview button here that will allow us to preview the background as it's meant to be seen. Simply type in render in your node library. And we're going to grab that render preview node and we're going to drag that in. Now if we connect it to the background, automatically the system refreshes the image to show you what it should look like rendered. And if I click this properties tab, you can see we have options. In this case, we're only rendering the current frame to allow ourselves not to take up all of the memory of the entire scene. And if I click through, you can see that it automatically re-renders whichever frame we're on. But if you wanted to, you could also change these parameters to uh, work better for you throughout the scene. We're going to keep on current frame only. And then the other part I wanted to do was get rid of this beam. So since I am in OpenGL, I can then select my beam and uh, just turn things on and off and see what actually changes. So I can see it's this one here. I'm simply going to disable it. And this is basically the scene that I want to start with. So we already have our blend modes working. We have our troubleshooting uh, of the boxes done, and uh, we're going to move on to the next step in the next video.